All right, today we're going to learn about the compile built-in function in Python 3. So let's start by looking at the docs. Compile has three required arguments, source, file name, and mode, and then a couple optional arguments, uh, flags, don't inherit, and optimize. And honestly, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're not going to worry about the optional. So just focus on mode and source, really. Source can either be a normal string, byte string, or AST object. So three options for source. The mode argument has three options as well, exec, eval, and single, and we'll get into those in a bit. If you're like me, you might be thinking, all right, so what is compile actually used for? So I found this Stack Overflow answer that I really like, and you'll be relieved to hear that it's not commonly used. The basic idea is that you have sort Python source code in a string form, and you can turn that into a Python code object. And I'll show you what a code object looks like in a second. So right off the bat, let me show you what a code object looks like, Some because some people might not be familiar, familiar with it. So let's run this, see what we get. Um, so we have a class code. So that's what they're talking about, is it's, a, it's actually a class, and that's what compile generally um, turns these expressions into. In this case, I wanted to start by looking at the string example. If you remember, uh, we have three options for the source parameter. We have string, byte string, and AST. So we're looking at string. I created a simple string of five. And then in the compile argument, um, basically we're saying, you know, is x equal to five? And then we're evaluating that. Remove the print just to clear things up a little bit. You can run this again. And, you know, x equals five. So that uh, evaluates is true. Now let's look at the, uh, the second possible input for source, and that is bytes. So we'll uncomment this, and we, we're creating a bytes object uh, by using this bytes syntax here. I think I have another video for that, so you can take a look uh, at the bytes built-in function. But let's just run this and see what it looks like. Oops, x is not defined. Ah, maybe throw a little x equals 5 in here. Sweet. Um, so in the first print, we check out the type, and we see we have class bytes. Uh, that's, that's the source. And then we're evaluating that, and the result is true because, again, x is 5. So basically the same example as before, but we're just doing it with bytes. Let's look at the third example now. And the third example is AST. So we import the AST library and we're gonna create an AST object here and let's just print that out, see what that looks like. Uh, so we have this AST class, that's this print, and then we're, we're just evaluating it. We're basically just, you know, running it and the output is hello world. So now we're going to look at the third argument, which is mode. I'm actually going to copy this and just paste it into our file just so you guys can kind of remember and just, just see what the, just keep this in your head that we have source, which is what we were looking at before. And we have mode, which we're going to look at now. So let's actually one at a time. Let's uncomment exec and take a look at that. So you see, we have our source code here. We have a string. Uh, with clearly a lot going on for a normal string. And then we have exec here as our third argument. Uh, just going back to the docs, you'll remember that we use exec if we have a sequence of statements. And that's basically what we have going on here. So let's print that out. Uh, we are printing the type of code. Don't really need that in that case. I think that's clear at this point. And mol equals 200 because we have the x equals 10, we have the y equals 20, and then mol equals x times y, and um, and then we're printing that out. So that, that evaluates as 200. So the next example is the single. Uh, this one's pretty simple. I created a variable, and we have thrown that in here, and you know, print that out. Here's our 50, and that's, that's the single. So coming down to our eval example, 
uncomment this. Um, I created x equals 5, and you'll see that the result is 10, you know, 5 plus 5, and we've used eval to do that. Just reminding you from the docs, eval is just a simple expression. Our expression in this case is 5 plus 5. So that's eval. So there you have it. That's the compile function. We looked at the three versions of source, string, byte string, and AST, and the three versions of mode, exec, eval, and single. And for file name, we just kept that consistent across the board with empty strings. And voila, a little intro to the compile function.